As Democrats gather in Chicago for the DNC, spirits are high and momentum is with the Harris Walls ticket. But momentum can be fleeting. And as political reporter Rick Albin joins us now to talk about how one prominent Democrat hopes to deal with that between now and Election Day. Rick. Now, Sue and Brian, Governor Gretchen Whitmer is in Chicago, and she's no stranger to elections, having run for the state house, the state senate, and twice for governor. And she knows that momentum is an important part of any campaign, but she also knows that momentum can shift and that during the course of the elections, there will be lots of twists and turns to navigate. So how do you deal with the inevitable ebb and flow of the campaign? I asked the governor about that earlier today. Oh, it, it'll be a roller coaster. I mean, the whole world's going to descend on us, Rick. We know that the road to the White House goes through Michigan. I know that uh, Donald Trump was in Howell yesterday. We're already getting inundated with ads, like literally from the day after the primary, and that will be sustained. And so it's going to be a, a lot of ups and downs, things we can't predict today. But what I can predict is if we are not serious about having those conversations with our, our loved ones or our co-workers or fellow parishioners or neighbors, if we don't get on the doors and talk to voters and help people get registered to vote, that we could see a very low turnout, which um, I think is would mean we don't get great representation. The governor clearly suggests that voter turnout will be a key for Democrats in battleground states right here in Michigan. She also told me the state's delegation is taking a high profile at the Democratic National Convention with State Senator Mallory McMorrow and U.S. Senator Gary Peters already addressing the convention. Governor Whitmer will speak on Thursday night before Vice President Kamala Harris accepts the nomination as the Democratic candidate for president. Brian.